Do they just have Pikmin mods that just like completely randomize the entire game? Probably. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Uh, ooh, we can get Pikmin back. That's good. With that queen candy pop bud. And 15 purple Pikmin we can get here. That's yeah, since you great. killed some of them. Uh, we lost three. Ugh. Three? Yeah, you killed like three another, purples? Didn't she another rainbow one back there? Uh, was that a rainbow or was that just yeah, a blue? Yeah, there's, there's like a color changing one. Yeah, that right. Oh, yeah, that was. Okay, from a distance, it just looked like a blue flower to me. Okay, so yeah, we'll get up to 100 Pikmin. That's good. Uh, you better. Doesn't really matter too much what we get because we'll be making purple Pikmin. Throw a purple in the, into the purples? Then it'll be double purple. Yes. A Super double stuff purple. Oh, man, just get purple. Some reds. Well, I guess it might not be a bad idea to get uh, yellow Pikmin for the boss we'll be fighting here soon. Spoilers. Jeez. But eh, it doesn't matter. Now it's almost like you didn't lose it. See? I'm doing good. You missed like half of those. Yeah. There's <laughs> still some Pikmin stuck back there. I just can't figure out how to walk. It's a miracle they're land creatures. Well, the blue pigmen aren't. <laughs> they can swim. Well, it really doesn't look like they're swimming until Pikmin 3. I don't think you really go into too much of really deep water until Pikmin 3 either. Yeah. The water in Pikmin 1 and 2 is pretty shallow. You're gonna drain the swamp! Get out to my swamp! Before it's all ogre! It's always all ogre now. Cause Shrek is love. Shrek is life. I'm just gonna ignore all this. <laughs> okay, you don't wanna be a part of the Shrek love cult? No. The Shrekening is upon us. No, I don't believe in God. But Shrek is God. Nice. Shrek is everything. <laughs> and nothing all at once. That doesn't make sense. Shrek is love and life and death. Uh. <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, see what we're dealing with here. Shrek! Which is going to be interesting Two. for sure. Shrek is the final boss. Uh, and there's going to be two of him. Double Shrek? Yes. Okay, I think this is what I want. Here. It's gonna be the Shrek Pocalypse. Shrek Pocalypse. I think this is a good fight for the present here. You make him do all the work? Yeah, why not? And all the more, I'm gonna try to keep behind this so he'll be safe with the purple Pikmin. I don't want the purple Pikmin to die after we just got them. <laughs> Kill them all! But if the president gets hurt, you lose money. Okay. Yeah. Well, your pay will be docked. This is the man at legs. Yeah. And the thing about him is that he's loaded. He's got a laser. Yeah. <laughs> really wants a horn. Yeah. I think that's just because he's closest. But yeah, that's why I put Omar and those Pikmin behind the wall there. You want those slow ass purple Pikmin to get fucking destroyed. Whew. You know, this works out. You know, it'd be funny if he just randomly changes aim right at me. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. There's like that one level on Halo Wars where the scarab just knocks through the wall anyways and then just starts destroying your base. That too is good. Uh, I think you got one. Ooh, I wonder what could have made that. not them. get those ones over there. <laughs> They're hiding in the They're trench. They're so terrified right now. They're like, oh my god, oh my god. They survived by hiding in the trench. That's amazing. They're just like World War One veterans. Huh. 
Run! Run! Uh, uh, run! How did run, that one not run. die? He is terrified Oh, no. oh you right hit now. everyone else. Yeah, I, I accidentally whistled Olimar. Oh, no. And all of the other Pikmin. No worries, they're still behind the wall. We might be able to finish him off. Oh, no, we're getting close. Oh, jeez, no! Run! There goes one. Yeah. And that one almost died, too. You know, with how lucky I was getting, uh, it was inevitable that I was gonna lose someone. Throw them all! If you can hit him! Yeah, that's kind of a requirement to kill yeah. him. Yeah, okay, he's dead. Him. You know, that actually went kind of well. Hmm, I wonder who could have made that. How was there a light bulb in there? Uh huh. That don't make no sense. Maybe the light bulb was his brain. That mechanized monstrosity is no longer functional. An insect and a machine forming a symbiotic relationship, life forms here are beyond odd. It's a good thing you're still alive, Mr. President. <laughs> Glass sphere detected. Oh my. It's too bad that Omar's pay will be docked for not really doing anything. He just kind of cowered behind a wall the whole time. You really are brave, Mr. President. <laughs> Poets will write tales of this day forever. This shall be known as the tale of... The present versus It'll be the mechanized monstrosity. <laughs> Guess what we get from this light bulb? Light. What? Who would have guessed? If I combine this glass sphere with the synthetic sun I've been de secretly developing. Okay. Light, does the president pay the ship to Is do this? Is he just like making nuclear weapons in his spare time or something? Apparently. Oh boy, with this I'm one step closer to my atomic bomb! <laughs> A solar system! Then I can kill all life on Hawk and Tate. <laughs> the AI revolution is near! <laughs> so, so yeah. You can see more now? or? Yeah, the dungeons are brighter. <laughs> yeah, look how much brighter it is! Yeah, that's all it does. Not by much. Yeah. But hey, at least it isn't like the shoes that, you know, are just bad. Whee! Yeah, now the game just looks really whitewashed. <laughs> Man, we got a lot of That's Pocos. a real stand out there of the thirst activator. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else was like less than 100. Yeah, or, nothing else compares to it. And then it was just 300. Yeah. Weird. For some reason, it's just extremely valuable. Apparently. You know, they really should take that 10,000 off that loot counter. I mean, yeah, technically they should. Yeah, since we... We should also take out how much money ever it costs to paint that entire thing gold. Yeah, yeah so we should be in the whole, like... <laughs> yeah, you should be in, like, Pocos. another 10,000. How many tens of thousands of Pocos? Although we're assuming that, you know, this is actual gold paint. It's not just, like, cheap paint yeah, that he bought for, like, Walmart two Pocos. And buy really bright yellow. <laughs> That Olimar probably had to apply himself without pay. Yeah. Still didn't get to go see his family. Yeah. He's like, before you go home, you need to paint this ship. Oh wait, we need to go back to the planet. You don't get to see your family. To get more treasure, and Louie. <laughs> no, he's just like, to get more treasure, then uh, Olimar's like, and Louie? Sure. <laughs> Was he gone? <laughs> wait, Louie? Who's him? <laughs> Was he employed here? Louie, Dewey, and Huey? Those were the other three that were crossed out? <laughs> hey look, those buds just perfectly uh, sprouted right in time. Yeah. Might as well just use a bit of time to get our Pikmin numbers up a little. Just a little bit. Yeah. Did you kill them all? Shadow well, all right. I'm not gonna say anything on that front. Yeah, you do kill them all though. Any, even any more buds around here anyway. Yeah, there's a few. Actually, what I should be doing is getting a lot more blue Pikmin. Shocking. You say that like you know why I need the blue Pikmin. So you can drown them? He knows everything about <laughs> this game. Game's a Pikmin expert. If anyone can know why I need blue Pikmin to be Tim, I don't know if he remembers or not. I don't remember anything. Well, let me guess, there's an Aqua Wally Wog. I mean, 
of them are. They're frogs. <laughs> I mean, they don't frogs. need to be in water. Well, yeah, but they're so aquatic. They're amphibians. Or at least I assume they're amphibians from this Pikmin planet. Yeah. They're really basically are. Really miss that one up there. Yeah. Well. You're a wiener. Congratulations, you ween. Oh boo, it looked like he was taking it to the red onion. It'd be funny if it just sucked it right up when he went underneath it. Maybe he's colorblind, I don't know. <laughs> the blue one to the red red onion and yeah, he's just like, I don't know which onion to take it to, I'm just gonna take it to that one. Yeah, I could use watch, more red. Watch, mix, watch mixing a red and a blue make a purple Pikmin. Definitely need more blue. <laughs> need more of everything, because you keep killing them. Fire everything! Well, it's not that I'm killing them, it's nature. Yeah, well, you drove them into the nature that killed them. You done did it, goofed. Does anything ever respawn in this place? It does, it just takes uh, a couple days. Since we killed everything the the first day we came back here. Eh. Just a barren wasteland. Yeah. I guess we can worry about getting Pikmin uh, another day. Pikmania? Wrong button. There we go. Let's go to sunset. Well, we couldn't find Louie. Oh darn. Oh well. So I guess he left the Valley of Repose. Must be at that new area that we just unlocked. No, that sounds stupid. Let's go to the other area we still need to go. Yeah. Check there first. Video game logic dictates that he would not be in the new area. Yeah. <laughs> See, Tim gets me. He's a fiery fucking He was just sleeping underneath the yellow onion. <laughs> yeah. He's tired, man. He had a long day. It's hard work being caught on fire constantly. <laughs> Wouldn't understand. Everything went up minus all the things that you killed. Yeah. Somehow. Now you got up to 93. Can we break 100? Probably will. Hopefully not. <laughs> but <laughs> we probably will kill everyone. Huh. Some That's president some you are. I just got back from vacation to find out you're on a treasure hunt. Well, don't bother coming home until you found every last item on your list. What a lovely woman the president's married to. Wow, what a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, who else do you think the president would be married to? Important things to find out that we were questioning earlier. What does it taste like? Remove the cannon and ammo stockpile, then vigorously tenderize the meat with a heavy mallet. <laughs> Stir Jesus. fry with caramelized onions and figwort sprouts. Spoon over a steaming bowl of fluffy white rice and douse with chili sauce. Basically turn it into stir fry. Sounds like it. Yeah, stir fry chili. Was there anything else? Uh, I guess this. Pull off the balloon-like air sacs, mince the meaty abdomen, and shape into small cakes. Pan sear the cakes until crusted, but be careful not to overcook the delicate meat. When ready to serve, garnish the plate with the vibrant air sacs. Even the most discerning dinner guests will be dazzled by the colorful presentation. Yeah, how many dinner yeah. guests do you have Ooh, on an uninhabited two, planet? Two more new ones down below. <laughs> well, we're not going to look at them all, but... This scorching species can bust upon contact with the tongue, only edible by the adventurous and abestos tongue. Abestos. Yeah. What about the mechanizes. <laughs> the manette legs. Yeah. Although the meat is a bit on the metallic side, <laughs> the oil makes a mouth-watering gravy or Ugh. a lubricative vinaigrette. Yeah, I doubt that. Yeah. I don't think that would taste too great. Yeah, no. What about the other? One oh, I want to read this one though. Uh, grind the meat with season, and season with allspice, salt, and ground pepper, white pepper. Press the seasoned meat into meat satchels, then pan fry them with onions. Meat satchels. <laughs> uh, prior to serving, smother the brats with Dijon mustard and sauerkraut. Buns are optional. Yummy.